What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off up our last time, we are continuing our demolishing of the new, of the Spanish colonials. Whoa, hold on, whoa. <laughs> and we have also been declared on by the Mughal Empire, so there's a few threads going on at once here. Um, so, we're going to continue chasing down Spanish forces. We are going to go and take Guatemala, and then I will, I will want to attack the Mughal Empire. But while I'm gearing up for that, I will also move on the Cherokee, because if I'm attacking an empire like the Mughal Empire, I do not want a state which is capable of pumping out fairly significant numbers of troops um, so close to my heartland. So I will be taking them out. And what I might want to do is take these guys that recaptured this territory from the Mughals. I'll be okay for a turn. March them to Montreal. Because this is my Quebec garrison, because the AI seems particularly keen to attack Quebec or territories in that area. But I think we've done everything we can do. Um, this army at Santa Fe is moving back up here. To attack the, the um, Cherokee from the northwest. This guy is arming up from troops that are ironically running straight through Cherokee territory that will get there in their own time. We've got an army in New Mexico who has just captured the city and can repair, can replenish as much as they can with $31. We've also got uh, one army here that's marching quickly back to Panama. And then we've got another army down here that's chasing down just some stragglers. And we also have an army here at Santo Domingo, um, Mr. Mr. Theodore Mirabeau, who will be... Well, he's going to refit and he's going to be ready to attack the, uh, the Mughal Empire, as will this army here. Although, um, this army, because they're in a good position to just refit now, they may wait and land... You know, he may... These guys will be ready sooner than these guys will. So maybe the armies that aren't currently committed in fighting actions now, they are well placed to replenish and attack the Cherokee quicker than these fellows, because they do have a few Spanish forces to attack um, en route to the capital. Obviously we've lost our, we didn't lose our our um, our college, it got, it, it got damaged. Uh, New Orleans, Baton Rouge is still not growing, but I've got to really be careful to not... Um, actually, I might disband this unit. Let's get the population back into uh, into Baton Rouge. But I think I really need to start um, doing a Rome Tile War strategy of moving population. But then again, I've not really got a massive population as it is. Um, anyway, I'm kind of just chatting away. Let's hit end turn. Let our armies reposition and let the game tick on. But yes, the Mughal Empire is quite a nice empire to go for. Um, Sri Lanka is currently owned by pirates, so they will form quite a good base of operations. And then we can land in the south and get ready for the uh, for the onslaught. While also having... Ooh, Austria's taken Madrid. Austria has taken Madrid. Holy moly. Well, they're surrounding the French, so they may become... There may be... Um, the Austrian Empire. A grand Austrian Empire forming in Central Europe. Um, I'm not sure if they're allied with the French or not. I can't remember off the top of my head. Obviously, Sweden now owns a big chunk of Russia. Did Sweden take Mor Moscow? Maybe. That's a big old chunk of blue right there. Mm. So the Protestant Catholic War is hotting up in Europe with two quite major nations very close. Uh, and the new Spanish uh, scholar is on his way north, probably to go try and steal some of my research. And then some of the northern Italian states are running around. But don't worry, Cherokee. Oh what! I didn't realise they were that they were that close to uh, rebelling. 
Okay, run around from this way. Just auto that. I cannot do that. They won't go anywhere. They'll try and they'll keep trying to attack this territory. Um, hmm, that's dumb. I, didn't I thought. Hmm. I thought I still had a turn. Oh well. So Theodore. His army is ready, but the navy is not. So you guys can replenish. Yes, my lord. You guys are replenishing, and you're going to yes, meet up with your artillery in Panama. Yes. Just chase down these new Spaniard rebels. Just take them out. Proud and victorious. Men, forward. You guys can continue to replenish and also march north, just because they do have a lot of troops. And then let's do some spending in Mexico. To make sure I'm getting the maximum value out of this region. Because we do have a lot of good mines here. Let's fix the port. Let's pick up the government house in Mexico. And it's all in um, New Mexico. And let's also pick up some of these mines. That's going to be a lot of money coming in from upgrading those mines. I'm reluctant to upgrade stuff too far south near the border I doubt you guys can leave Forward. no minus 11 you guys are stuck in there for a while fleet arrives well that's a big frame rate drop okie dokie you guys fill up a spot and this force go back here um, I definitely do want to look at replacing that fleet. Because we're building another fleet here in Boston. But unfortunately I can't build any more ships because I've spent or oh, I've spent all my money. Come Jean Frederic Marmont. There's a couple of ooh, upgraded general. Can't replenish the college. So let's manually march these troops in just to make sure. I'll just see how we're doing. Okay, you're not currently recruiting anything. Got a good amount of cavalry. Got some artillery. Could do with skirmishes, but I can't currently recruit any decent skirmishes. Let's just get one more line. Um, get another howitzer as well, I suppose. May as well carry on. And I know that's going to recruit from here. Yeah. But Baton Rouge is weirdly going up um okay one thing you do definitely have to be careful of actually eh, no you're not really the right fleet for that job you are realistically when this fleet's fixed i want to send mr jean frederic Secouf off to the straits of madagascar because when eventually when we declare war well when we declare war with britain uh, it's going to be a bloodbath over here, because you guys know how much I suck at naval battles, and man, that's a lot of ships. Let's have a look at the political situation. So France is hostile, allied with Spain and Russia, and is at war with Austria. That's fascinating. So it's only a matter of time before they take Lisbon. And the Spanish Empire is forced to operate out of. They've taken Naples. Yeah, so you've got Lisbon and Cagliari, and soon uh, Venice will have taken all of, not Venice, Austria would have taken all the Spanish territory, which is pretty cool. But is Austria at war with Sweden? No, they're allied with Sweden. It's pretty big. Oh, France is at war with them and Sweden. Poor old Hanover, stuck in the middle. Allied with Sweden and Britain and trade with Sweden. So there's going to be, a, that is going to be an absolute scrap fest through there. Okay, so it's probably in my interest to make sure I repair the uh, university. Um, because right now we're losing tech potential. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to do it, to give f France... France is currently scrapping with Austria, so I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, to keep them fighting Austria. 
So I'm going to give them the naval tech, which will give them more... Upgrade their ports so they can get better navies to fight the Austrians. They're not going to win, but it'll drag the conflict on. They're going to give me to cadence marching, which... Improves map movement range and a thousand cash. A thousand not quite so good, but you know what? I'm not... I don't need a thousand dollars. Um, but it behooves me, while I'm becoming a superpower, to keep the wars in Europe going. And right now, as it's France against Sweden and Austria, and only in, it's not only a matter of time before they also involve Britain, um, it might actually be wise to sort of keep the French going. And I mean, it's turned into, you know, the roles are reversed. They were my colonial oppressors, and now we are... Not, well, I suppose they weren't our colonial oppressors. The Louisianans would have oppressed the native population and various other communities. Um, but in the sense of this game, um, I'm treating myself as Louisiana as a, as a free independent state, free from the shackles of, you know, from the French. But maybe... Maybe it would be a good idea to keep them going. At least for a little bit. I mean, if, if I'm pretty sure they'll have fire by rank, but if they don't, it might be worth trying to give them some technologies uh, such as that to help improve their odds. Yeah, the Spanish forces are falling back to the capital. It turns out Franco Catholicism is superior to Spanish Catholicism, although who wins between Austrian and Franco Catholicism is a bit of a gamble. Yeah. You guys are still spying. Um, okay, then you come down to Florida. Free to rise, Michel Belmont. Yes, my lord. Uh, no opportunities to raid in Madagascar because they're all friends. But Travis, you've been—you're not in good, perfect shape. Because neither are you, even though their flag shows that they're okay. No, Mr. Belmont, you come home. You need to get fixed. Northwest Territories. Okay, pick up the governor's residence. Let's do some support for France. Let's trade with them. <laughs> no Frenchman of honour would dare. Although, actually, we can't... <laughs> we can't give them many things. Can't give them any of our tech. Okay, so over here, fix the college. You just attack Black Fox. Victory is ours. And we just keep pushing him back. You guys keep spending. Recruitment report: Caribbean Sea, bunch of new ships. Let's pick up an admiral, Nayal Marat. Up this. Okay, let's take. Okay, Mr. Sirkouf. You're probably a good person to send out to East Africa. Let's take some pirates ready to block, well, not blockade, but occupy this port. These guys can sit in the port here and wait for Mr. Mirabeau. Wait for his marching orders. And let's pick up some of these economic techs to get more goods exported out from Santo Domingo. And let's pick up this port and let's also pick up another sloop to occupy it. Yes, sir. Uh, this army's en route to be in position. I may as well just set these guys to march onwards. Upgrade some mines and buildings around Bogota. Because mining income, you can get a crazy amount of money from mining. You've got maxed out infrastructure. We're still keeping the Mughals bottled up. Mm, let's pick up this port as well. Yes. Okay, you guys are ready. 
You guys are soon to be ready. Um, are there any buildings like that are worth demolishing? Or are there any towns? Tampico is growing. Tampico is... That's Monterey. It's another port. <laughs> Not as useful. So Nidia is going to be going to be fixed. So we'll have an army here ready to march on Annapolis. We'll have an army here to hit um, Cherokee Territory and King Tuck Territory. And we've also got an army to the west that will be able to push. And it's also pick up one unit of... You've already got loads of cavalry and lots of artillery actually. So bog standard infantry would work. Then we'll have another army to hit Florida. So soon we'll be able, we'll, we will hit the Cherokee from all angles. But it will take some time. A couple of turns. Because we do want to make sure all our... All our ducks are in a row. Prior to making some sort of commitment. And I suspect, chances are, if Britain declares on me, I'm going to want to fall my navies back from the Straits of Madagascar because that's just too much firepower. Um, I'm rubbish, and I would need so many fleets. I need about probably about four or five good stacks to feel confident winning that engagement because I'm pants at naval battles. Um, and that ain't going to be happening. Our demands, we've got a lot of demands in a lot of places, and even more so when we hit India. I'm going to want to be doing. Some economic operations there. But right now, I'm pretty satisfied with the with the strong position we have. Um, we've got a couple of good fleets ready to intercept any force that are attacking us. Ideally, I'd like to have a fleet based into the north and a fleet based in the Caribbean. And then I'll feel pretty darn secure that... <laughs> You know, no one's going to do anything uh, untoward. At least, they're not going to surprise us. I didn't check if Sweden took um, Moscow either. So I think I'll definitely have to do that this turn. Don't worry, Guatemala, we're coming. I could have sailed them up by ship, but my armies are replenishing and... Yeah. Yeah, but obviously I'm going to get loads of awards for saying your guys are still spying. And you go, good stuff. Your Majesty. You hit Black Fox again. Just take him out. I mean, they're still minus seven because of the... Because uh, of this getting fixed. Okay, so we've got fifth rate in the Caribbean here. We have got Buccaneers in Cuba. So the Buccaneers will march. Ooh. Oh no, that's enemy agent. Uh, Buccaneers will march to the port to make sure it is secure. The fifth rate join a smaller scale navy over here. I don't want to upgrade this yet. I want to get steam, the steam dry dock. You upgraded some basic farms. Yeah, our spies are still spying. get our export drive going. Let's pick up new roads to make sure all the products are getting to market, which it looks like they are. Pick up the Iron Master's works to provide more tax income. Can you leave yet? Probably not. Two, actually. So if I, if I stop taxing them, they'd be okay. Um, let's pick up one unit of militia. March you guys down towards the border. So now this army pick up the Panamanian garrison. And you also start marching up. You have to join up with this guy. Let's pick up a sloop here. We've already got metal roads in Cuba. But let's pick up some mine upgrades and replenish the army. Let's 
also upgrade our exports in Santo Domingo. Just really get them popping. Although, yeah, some of our money, some of our stuff is not getting exported. But it should get fixed with these port upgrades. As our armies move into position. So not a huge amount going on um, in this episode, but... Okay, so what have you got? Okay, let's pick up two more infantry units here in Upper Louisiana. They've got a they've got a howitzer unit, but I'm not quite sure what that's doing there. So let's just march this guy up to Quebec because this guy's got plenty of artillery. Two more turns till he's in place. Gilles Mortier, trencher man. Oh, this guy. Minus one to campaign movement range. And this other guy, Alphonse Barrett's brave soldier, plus two morale. Oh, that's one of my... Great, one of my scholars has ruined it. Okay, let's hit end turn. Let all our dudes creep on one more stage. Yeah, some episodes it's a bit natural. It's natural for it to be a bit quieter, just because you've got other things to do. Uh, I want to make sure my ducks in a row, ducks are in a row prior to attacking. Uh, Stockholm is upgrading their university, so they're going to get a new level of technology. Still didn't look if they got Moscow. <laughs> Oh, see, this is what happens if I don't have my pad and pen next to me. I can't write really obvious notes in capital. In all capitals, sorry. So I've got another coffee. And everything is right with the world. I've been very productive this morning. I've done my bins, done my recycling, I'm doing some laundry, done some tidying. Then I'm doing some recording. That's pretty badass too. Don't worry, Sweden. You will soon be taken by us. <laughs> you have to wonder if it's worth chopping these uh, end <laughs> chopping these end turns out because even though the game isn't stalling, it's just Sweden's taking a long time. But then again, they do have a large front line, so I'm hoping. When I take, uh, when I've captured the Cherokee territories, those rakes I've got currently doing forward reconnaissance, I want to drop some in Europe and get more visibility on what's going on outside of the the trade routes that I currently have. I think we're doing a good job at growing. I need to check what my per turn income is. Uh, net income. <laughs> Good luck. Trying to get to my university in time, dude. <laughs> we are storming, storming towards you. And the Mughals haven't made any moves um, against us, so I could possibly make peace with them, at least technically, um, but I don't think I will. I think I'm going to want to uh, to kill them. Workers are on strike. Fine. And now you're not on strike. Haha. <laughs> New port emerges. Providence. Okay, you, you can become a port. Hold on, before we do that, let's just check our buildings. We've got a bunch of steam pump mines, which we can't upgrade to get the steam engine. But now you're starting to really fire on all cylinders with your mining income, which is lovely. Fleet arrives. Monsieur Sercouf. Whoa, that yes, didn't like that. Aye, aye, Captain. Any orders? Okay, let's take Mr. Joseph. Come back home. Then we've got Michel Belmont. Ooh, hello. Good job we're at peace. Otherwise, I'd take you out. Okay, let's get into Paramaribo. Uh, let's get rid of one of these units of militia and then get another unit to march up and occupy this port. And then let's take you guys, replenish. Or repair the fleets. 
still got our low tier. Our trade fleets are still growing. So let's just tack on another. Up Louisiana, I've got their ships built. And still some upgrades in the Caribbean Sea. Yeah, you're going to march. You're going to join over with this fleet, and then you'll be at full strength. Okay, so you've got four firsts, four seconds. It's going to become six seconds, and let's get some... Realistically, I don't know how many I'll be able to get, but let's just get four. Workers on strike in New Spain. Wow, okay. That's not... Not useful. But it won't take many turns. Let's get rid of that militia and just get my general back. He could sit there for a bit longer. Troops are marching up from the south. This guy, combine with your lost cavalry regiment and march up. Uh, no, I don't agree that. First, get the farm. Let's get more towns going because you've got two docks which would be valuable additions. And let's also check the roads in a lot of my provinces to make sure maximum goods are being exported. I think they are, generally, except for the odd exception. Good. Okay. <laughs> yes, Sweden has taken Moscow and Russia should be terrified right now because they t they own a lot of very poor regions. So we've got a great... Ooh, there's going to be fighting over northern Italy as well. Lots of ruins. Uh, where is this fella? Yes. There he is. Keep him marching on. Go. So you're in position, you're in position, this army's up here in position, this navy down here is ready, might just embark you now, I mean it's a bit dodgy because you've got a bit less artillery support behind you, but you are landing against Florida which is a bit, which is significantly less protected, you might get intercepted in, at, in Savannah, portray, no, they found my agent, and they found my other agent. Turns out these white people speaking French don't blend in with Native Americans. My leader's got plus one happiness and ability. And jean frederic Marmont is a three-bottle man. <laughs> Sweet. We've got three grand to spend. I don't know what else we can get apart from military buildings in... Military buildings in uh, Antigua, which I'm not really bothered about. I think everything else has been paid for, really. To be honest, I could probably just send this guy in to also attack the Cherokee, which means I may... Let's hit end turn. Let's make... So I'm going to go over the turn limits here. I want to make my, well, my general limits. I want to make it so that I end the episode declaring war on the Cherokee and beginning my attacks. So I might not be necessarily fighting the Cherokee in this episode. I'll at least... Everything will be ready. Then the next episode, boom, there's going to be a series of battles to attack the front line. Yeah, I bet the Swedes are quite busy now. Trying to hold the line against Russia. Against Russia and against the French. I mean, they could do some naval invasions along across the... North Sea to attack Amsterdam, that kind of area, but I suspect, suspect they probably just want to bolster their front line. Although, looks like the Swedes have a lot of naval dominance. Hmm. Well, they're definitely doing something, because they keep sailing there. He's going to march all the way up there and then find out there's no reason that, you know, his entire his country will have been destroyed. Hessen. Hessen. 
you have become independent. Fascinating. Successfully rebelled. Here, have... I mean, I can't give them any military tech, but let's give them... Measuring tools for... Well, you know what? Let's just give you measuring tools. Let's give them something to, to try and maintain their position. The AI does kind of cheat anyway in terms of income, but at least that might... So the, the AI always has, you know, the other number is always quite high. So regardless of how bankrupt they are on trade and tax they've always got a guaranteed sum of some money coming in so you're all built yes, sir. so you're marching up Your you're nice. marching up and they've crossed the border I've learned my lesson this time oh. can't leave unless they're completely happy oh, although I might have to build a happiness building in Tampico Two more second-rate ships of the line have joined the fleet. Fame and Penelope. And we've got four first-rate, third-rates, and that'll be pretty awesome. So then you... Okay, you're near as damn it in position. So let's do deployment. Well, actually hold the phone. Let's quickly just spend some cash. Although I think I've upgraded pretty much everything, so it's nice to now be in a complete surplus. Diplomacy. Major nations. Oh, they're a minor, aren't they? Cherokee. Open negotiations. It is good to talk with friends and great warriors such as you. Let us bargain, then, as friends. Wap. We do not need your trinkets or your merchants. Liars and spies, all of them. <laughs> aren't we such good friends? Hey, let's stop trading. Ah, fine. Well, screw you. You're going to hate this even more. Cancel alliance. We have been friends, but no longer. The alliance treaty is done. We are not enemies or friends. You mean nothing to us. Although you really hate us. Now we are at war. And you can cross the border. We're going to have to march in fairly aggressively because they could send troops west to screw with us. But let's send our fleet. Whoa. I don't want to necessarily attack Florida. Good. That's what I wanted to happen. Just dump the dump the army off of their coast. Then... Dizidro Vaubois, Vauban, with his very fresh army. Put Maryland under siege, and then let's take this navy with their embarked army. Yes. Let's take you guys, and let's... Oh, oh shenanigans. Okay. It doesn't really doesn't like me middle mouse clicking and dragging them around the map here. Rury doesn't like that. Okay, just coming in and attack Williamsburg as well. Drop the troops. Get my sloop back up to the dry dock. Good stuff. So now this navy down here is repaired. Mr. Belmont, you can move up and redeploy to San Juan. You get the militia in there. So I've got two fleets, so I'm going to take Mr. Marat. Although he can't sail very far, he can take position up here in Louisbourg. As our spies continue to spy, let's take... Well, this rate can stay where he is. You can more convincingly march up and just, to be honest, just give them attack orders. Um, what I am going to do is 
take this guy, attack Annapolis, and then we are going to attack. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time for the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the first battle of a series of battles, well, to be fought against the Cherokee Nations. Cheers everyone.